In the previous session we looked at a strategy approach for teaching our multiplication facts and also the, the teaching sequence uh, for, for teaching those strategies, the, the, the stages we go through of introducing, reinforcing, practicing and then mm -hmm. extending it. Mm -hmm. Uh, we now want to look at each of those strategies individually. So the use 10 strategy first of all. So that's uh, when you have one row across here for Sorry. your fives facts, so because you use 10 to get your fives, and also the turnarounds of the column down here. All right, that's right. What do you suggest to, to introduce this strategy? If you, uh, if you look at this, which is the a fact in that uh, cluster, mm -hmm. do you have a way to work that out? I'm, I'm sure you know the answer, yeah. but if I were to present this to a child who was in his second or third year of school, um, they probably would have a way. What do you suppose I, I that I think they're be? more than likely going to count. They're just going to count 5, 10, 15, okay. 20, and so on. So they're going to count by fives. They feel good about counting by fives. Mm. It's a very good strategy, yeah. but you don't get to the answer counting by fives very fast. No. Uh, and along the way, you might make mistakes, mm. like you might miscount. Yeah. So, and, but you see it in the classroom, don't you? You right. see this used counting strategy, and there might be good reasons for doing it, uh, but in terms of uh, for computation, that, that's it's really encouraging a, a rather inefficient strategy, isn't it? It's counting. pretty it's pretty inefficient and leads to lots of errors. So mm -hmm. we look at using something like this to help, which we've shown before, mm -hmm. our array picture. And when you look at this array, you could still count that, but I'm going to open this out and. What facts do you see with this picture? So I see seven by ten, or seven rows.